the last few minutes, in fact, firefighters in the southwest have joined their colleagues across the country in walking out on strike. The industrial action about pensions, which will last until 11 o'clock this evening, has been timed so that crews will be back on duty for bonfire celebrations tomorrow night. Managers say cover will be provided in the meantime. Our reporter Hamish Marshall is live at one of our region's busiest stations in Exeter for us tonight. Hamish. Well, Simon, this is one of around two dozen full-time stations right across the southwest where firefighters walked out a few moments ago. We saw them here leaving their post this evening. They will be out until 11 o'clock this evening. It's the latest stage of what's becoming an escalating battle with the government over pensions. The government effectively wants firefighters to wait until 60 to get their pensions. Well, the firefighters say many of them won't be fit enough to keep working until they get to that age. The government says it's one of the best public sector pension schemes, but the Fire Brigade Union disagrees. We've made agreements that if there's any major incident, we'll attend. We've called short duration strikes. We've even avoided bonfire night. We've done everything we can not to involve the public in this dispute, but the government is doing everything it can, we believe, to inflame this dispute. to uh, Gary Spindler, a firefighter here. Gary, you're trained to save lives, but this weekend you're putting lives at risk, aren't you? Well, in our opinion, it's not ours, ourselves that are putting lives at risk. It's the government by not taking um, our, our concerns seriously. We've lived in two years with uh, the evidence. They haven't given any uh, robust arguments backwards, uh, back to us. Both the employers and the government agree that we've got concerns. Now they need to sit around the negotiating table and solve it so we don't have to take this industrial action. Okay, Gary, this debate is going to go on, I know. So it may appear that they're pouring cold water on your fund this weekend. The advice, though, stay safe and go to an organised display. Well, it's never a good time to call a strike for the fire service, unfortunately, but they feel that this is the only option left open to them. We've been in two years of negotiation now, um, and it's time for the government to start putting financial and legal guarantees behind their uh, words. It's not just about uh, retirement age of 60. It's about the massive hit people will take on their pension if they retire early. It's about contribution rates. It's about access to the scheme for retained firefighters. Yes, we've got people who, who will argue that we shouldn't be doing this, but we're finding that the vast majority of the public understand our arguments. Firefighters say they've done what they can to minimise the dangers. We have deliberately avoided um, the two busiest nights, Saturday and Sunday night, around um, Guy Fawkes night. We've avoided the 5th of November, but we've had to take action within that period. That's why we're taking action now. Look, our fight is not with the public. Our fight is with the government. Bosses wiser 